Watch and be vigilant against evil. Your enemies will always try their best to bring you down. They would strive to see you in trouble so that you can experience the downfall in all you do. There's no length they would not go to to make sure this happens. Your enemies are usually not happy with your success, so they try to sabotage every chance you have to progress. They do not want you to be successful in whatever it is you do and are just interested in seeing you fail all the time. One very effective way that the enemies use to deal with anyone is to lie against them. They would want to mislead others into thinking that you are what you are not. They know that this act can damage your image, and that's exactly what they're after. They want to paint you as a bad person to the whole world by setting you up. This is because they know that this is an easier way to turn people against you. People will not hate you unless you are a bad person and they desperately need people to hate you to achieve their goal in your life. When people hate on you, life becomes difficult for you and your chance of succeeding is very slim. And this is exactly what they want from you. They want to cripple every source you have of becoming somebody in life. The best way is to set you up and make you seem like a bad person. And this will stick with you because if they plan it well and you fall into their trap, then people will end up hating you. You should never give your enemies the chance to set you up. You need to be very observant when you're dealing with people in your life. There are so many ways to know your enemies and what they might be up to. After you recognize them, you need to kick them off your life so that you can avoid future drama. Your enemies are there to pull you down, and you need to do away with them in any way that you can. You should always be prayerful, and God will guide you through always. Identifying your enemies is the first step you must take if you want to do away with them completely in your life. You need to know the people you're dealing with before you can deal with them. They would surely come in different forms. Some would be friendlier than others, while some will just come into your life showing you their true colors straight away. You need to be very careful with every kind of person in your life, no matter the approach they bring in. You should be able to suggest their intentions and know what to do to make them leave your life alone. They are only there to watch your downfall, and the surest way they can make sure that happens is to implicate you in something that you know nothing about. They will place your names in places that will put you in a lot of trouble. They will go to any length to watch your downfall and make you suffer for something that you know nothing about. There are a lot of people that are not happy with your success. They want to tarnish your image, and that is exactly what implications will do to you. They want you to struggle and fall. They're not ready to lose against you and want you to be ridiculed by the whole world. Protection of your image should be very important to you because no one wants to associate with someone that has a bad attitude. They want to take that image from you and tag you as a bad person so that you would lose all credibility. If they succeed in this, there might be no coming back for you, as it would affect every aspect of your life. There are some allegations that if you're once associated with, they stick with you forever. It doesn't even matter if you later clear your name. People would always look at you as though there is still a possibility that you committed the crime but was just lucky to get off. You meet some people in your life that are dead ready to associate you with this kind of allegations and make it stick to you. You can be sure that these people are set to ruin you and they just want to see your downfall. When you notice this kind of people in your life, you need to kick them off your life before they succeed with their plan. If you leave them in your life for too long, they might just be the end of you. And that would be so sad. 
because you had the opportunity to kick them out of your life, but you didn't. You need to be ruthless when dealing with people like this, because even God does not want them around you. God wants you to deal with people that want to implicate you. Implicating you will make you lose people's trust. When people realize that you're involved in immoral acts, they would not want to associate themselves with you anymore, and this is bad for business, so you can be sure that your financial life is in trouble. You might get sacked from work or get rusticated from school. Your partner might leave you, and you'll be devastated. Your whole life will come crashing, and there might be nothing you can do other than try and clear your name. Clearing your name is usually a process, and not something that happens within the blink of an eye. This even depends on how meticulous the person that sets you up is. If this person planned it well, then clearing your name is going to take a while, or might never even happen. Even if your name is going to be cleared, at last, you can imagine how much humiliation you would have had to endure, how much respect you would have lost, and there doesn't seem like anything you can do to get those back. There are many relationships that you would have lost and many people that would have been disappointed in you. Even people that normally trust you will have doubts about you, and that's very painful. Being implicated is never a good thing. It's an act that can easily push you to depression and even cost you your life. You need to be careful not to leave any chance for anyone to get you implicated in something that you know nothing about. This would be the worst feeling in the world, and sometimes we wonder why God allows it to happen. Most times, it's due to our disobedience. God might have been giving you all the whole signs in the world for you to know that this person you're with does not fit into your life. God would have been trying to warn you, but you wouldn't listen to his warnings. What better way to make you learn your lesson than to let you experience it firsthand? Not only this, as sometimes it could be your lack of prayers to God. You feel like you can do this on your own, and you don't need God to help you. God would keep watching you until you decide to involve him. Of course, God does not love the enemies winning in your life. God wants you to defeat the enemies. God wants you to win over those that want to implicate you. But you should know that you need to do your part. There's no winning without God, as he is the only one that can save you from all that you are going through. You should make sure you are vigilant against evil. You should work on your self-awareness and be able to detect evil when you see it. You need to be able to separate your fake friends from your real ones. You should be able to table your matters in front of God and watch him fight for you. God will bring all your enemy's efforts to a halt and he would teach them a lesson that they would never forget. Include God in all you do. God will surely expose the enemies of yours, and he would destroy all their plans. You also need to be vigilant. God will not come down from heaven to point those people with bad intentions to you. You need to be able to figure them out as God is pointing them out to you, so that you can kick them out of your life. God will not do it all for you. You also need to be up and doing. You should just make sure you pray to God at all times and commit all your life into His hands. God will forever be there for you. He would bring you out of that difficult situation and you would flourish in all ramifications of your life. You should always pray to God for protection against the enemies and their plans both the ones you know about and the ones that are hidden from you. God sees it all, and he can protect you from them all. He would surely listen to you and come to your aid. You should always be faithful to him, and he would reward you with his blessings and protection from all evil.